know Afro punk from Instagram and you know online and I was like okay I really want to be there and this is the first time and you know I can you can express yourself you can be free and this is a beautiful place to be yourself and just show who you are it's like a, a space where people express themselves because people don't dress like this every day so it's like a space where like there's a lot of freedom and people can literally just they can literally just dress however they've always wanted to dress so it's like where they express themselves freely so that's the aesthetic like anyone people can rock up with panties and that's okay yeah it's afropunk you know well i stand for indigenous cultures i love culture and i think it's a beautiful thing and especially you know um because of the uh, European invasion, like a lot of things got erased. And to me, I think it's a beautiful thing to bring back where we come from and our ancestors, and just to expose their cultures and their wisdom. We need to participate in the stories that are being told about us. And so that's the whole reason behind the is the Bela people actually actively telling their stories as opposed to being used for backdrops or photo shoots and actively uh, participating in the narrative of the story of the Bela people. <laughs> Um, I think like oh like I think my politics is, is always in mind no matter like where I am um, so and especially in a place where like the majority of the people are people of color especially black people um, like especially me as a white presenting person I'm, I'm mixed race but most people think that I'm white so it's I have to be very particular with what I wear and how I present myself Kind of as like a heterosexual person, I guess my aim is to like reimagine what the heterosexual man looks like and just completely deconstruct everything we know about what a heterosexual man is. <laughs> So I always make sure that my outfit always has a South African designer because you know we put each other on guys. We'd be like, where your ears from? I'm a guy from Cologne. Where did your hair? Oh, mucha hair. A black owned fire business in Parkers. Fire. You know what I'm saying? Put it on. We can't we can't leave each other out to dry, especially when a business is owned by women of color. Ah, God is great. It's business for women of color and it's flourishing. Flourish together, you know? Oh, well, basically, I'm a queer person. So, you know, I always feel like I'm afraid of the spaces that I enter just in terms of like how they recognize me. And it's very hard for us to exist in the real world. So, being able to wear Fendi skates at Afropunk and for him to be able to wear my dress, you know, it's just fire. It's a place where I can feel and be myself. Proud of being who you are and um, being black. Black is beautiful and uh, just enjoy life, you know, and, and be yourself. The expression is really important for me.